Hello everyone. Welcome to the new course Introduction to Machine Learning. So in this course I will be covering the basic introductory concepts, almost all concepts of machine, machine learning. You know that machine learning is recently has got a lot of popularity among researchers and also among the students in the universities. So you might have noticed that recently machine learning has got a lot of popularity among researchers, um, especially with the PhD scholars and in various labs machine learning research is uprising and not only that almost all big companies and small startups they are adopting machine learning because uh, starting from the Amazon to TCS everyone every company is using machine learning concept to segment make a market segmentation of their probable customers or from social networking point of view to build a recommended system and to make effective spam filtering techniques and needless to say that in case of image classification and image segmentations medical imaging machine learning has found a lot of interest and not only that and uh, the advancement of machine learning which is deep learning in 2020 deep learning has been used by almost all top institutions research institutions okay so in this course i'm going to provide you the basic concepts of machine learning so we need a little bit of mathematical background for that but i'll try to keep the subject as simple as that so so what is let us come to the point now what is machine learning so machine learning is is a study of computer algorithms that improve automatically through experience so experience is an important term because through experience only the machine used to learn and the better it learn better it predict so main intention of machine learning algorithms and the systems which incorporate these algorithms is to predict better okay starting from the self-driving car to the spam filter and anything you say where machine learning is used main objective is to predict correctly predict accurately okay so for that you need the machine need experience so experience only can come through training proper training of the and you need a lot of data also so machine learning this this subject is basically comes under ai artificial intelligence so you can call ai as a superset and uh, ml as a subset of it so it actually works upon the sample data known as training data so training data is very crucial what kind of training data we are feeding to the machine to the algorithm and uh, whether training data is sufficiently representing the target class and uh, the other class if it is a binary classification whether the it is sufficiently representing that that is one factor so there should not be any biasness so so when why machine learning is important why you need that because conventional algorithms uh, is not when they are not able to perform in such situations uh, we bring ml ml algorithms and it becomes useful okay so what are the applications major application as i said earlier email email filtering spam filtering in computer vision especially with the segmentation heart images you know um, segmentation and classification and there are many other applications available that we will be knowing once you start this course and gradually you will be coming to know so in social media also link predictions and other stops are there where machine learning is immensely used 
So what are the different types of various paradigm or you can say different types of ML algorithms? So first one is supervised learning. Supervised learning means supervision. This term itself is nothing but teacher. So when you will be um, the computer is presented with exa example input and their desired output. So what is the output you know? That means levels you know and input you know. So in that situation we will call it supervised uh, learning. So supervised learning has become a little bit old now. And then uh, that means in supervised learning you have a supervision, you have a guidance which what is the output, which parameter is the output parameter and what is to predict. Basically the basically the algorithm basically the algorithm knows what to predict in case of supervised algorithm. Okay. In case of unsupervised, that is just the contrary of supervised. There is no teacher, no guidance. So algorithm itself will find what is to be done. Okay. That means algorithm will find the clusters. If the cluster is not present, let us say we are segregating the cancer patient and non-cancer patient that means can carcinoma positive and carcinoma negative so in that case we do not know what kind of data it is so this unsupervised learning will simply segregate them as cancer positive and cancer negative that may be one of the major applications of unsupervised learning and that in a different way called clusters so let us say you have two clusters or three clusters cancer non-cancer and unknown so that is supervised learning and finally the third one is reinforcement learning so it is just the, uh, when a computer interacts with the dynamic environment in which it must perform a certain goal as it na navigates its problem space the problem is provided feedback that analogous to reverse that means this reinforcement learning is a mechanism where every time the feedback will be provided and based on that reward will be generated so that is the third one reinforcement learning will come to that what are the other approaches other approaches are like you can call it the subset of already three existing techniques that is supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning but people used to categorize them sometimes so topic learning is there so topic learning is uh, given a particular it's a unsupervised learning first of all so given a particular topic it will segregate or summarize the document so it is used for social network insight to segregate the let us say customers who wants what dimensionality reduction is another approach so dimensionality reduction is that sometimes what happens when you have high dimensional data we can't operate on that so for that we have to reduce the dimension of the data so for that we have different methodology like principal component analysis and our upset theory okay but those cannot be called directly as ML approaches. Anyway, and then finally we have meta learning. We'll come to that. What is meta learning? And then, in recently in 2020 and in this ongoing 21, the deep learning has found a lot of popularity in every sphere of industry and research, academic research, industry research, everywhere. Deep learning has found its new niche. So what happens, uh, the basic difference between machine learning and deep learning is that in machine learning you have to specify things, feature selection uh, is little bit difficult, but in case of deep learning the algorithm itself will find the feature and accordingly it will work. So let's say we are segregating cat image and dog images, so in case of uh, deep learning it will automatically if you fit the images of dog and cat randomly as training and test so scanning the training test itself it will understand that some pattern is similar for dog images some pattern is similar for cat images based on that it will segregate both the images right so that is you no know, uh, feature extraction the exact word is feature extraction is much more effective and easier in case of deep learning so deep learning we have many algorithms uh, variants of deep learning are there especially for the images we have convolutional neural network which is a special model to deal with uh, images otherwise we have advanced uh, dnn deep neural network and then we have a lot of variants of deep convolution neural network like tilde 
and convolution neural network then we have you know many others like um, dilated convolution neural network so these are basically the cnn part is cnn part of deep learning is basically to deal with images and it has found a lot of you know um, use in the recent times so what are the current happenings of ml so for that i have given this nature dot com uh, website so here you can see what are the current research that are going on in machine learning so as advances in automatic identification of flying insects using optical sensors and machine learnings kinetic ensemble of alzheimer of peptide certain peptides so and then ct ct image segmentation of you no know, some such kind of work is uh, is going on in a big way ct scan images okay so predicting pediatric moral mortality in the early stage so in medical field uh, this machine learning is finding a lot of uh, application okay so you can see from nature research because nature is regarded as one of the top most uh, the nature publication is regarded one of the top most venue for publishing papers among researchers so you can find what is happening in the current time so what are the issues with machine learning basic issues first thing is that insufficient data so insufficient data is a critical issue for applying ml algorithm because if you don't have data first of all getting data is very difficult as a researcher getting data is very difficult if you are working in industry then industry might provide you data but more data means better the data collection is an issue and then sometimes although you can get the data but you won't be able to get the proper data like the target class let's say you are going to classify cancer and non cancer patients so in that case in the data of non cancer patients are more then that data will be useless for you okay quality of data is a major problem and uh, unwanted features and then overfitting overfitting means uh, sometimes you will get high accuracy results due to the problems in the data so that is called over overfit in the test in the test uh, data you will get a lot of accuracy so that is not at all uh, wanted so that means overfits happens many times so you have to add get overfitting and all there are various technique for that and underfitting is another problem okay and then first lastly the problem is that how to deploy the algorithm that you have developed how to deploy deployment is another problem so these are some critical issues so these are some critical issues with ml so in the next class next in the next lecture i'm going to tell you about uh, version space and candidate elimination algorithms so thanks for watching